This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby from the Borders. Melrose ran in 10 tries as they beat Jed Forrest 66-14 at the Green Yards in the RBS Borders Cup. And with that result, they go to the top of the table with two wins out of two. Andrew Skeen scored four tries with Fraser Thompson and Richard Mill getting a brace each, while David Colvin scored on his first start for Melrose within two minutes, a dream debut for him. Andrew Nagel got over for the other try. Ben Chalmers on his debut kicked seven conversions, with Andrew Skeen getting another. For Jed, their two tries went to Martin Chisholm and John Scudrow, with Chris Laidlaw converting both. Reaction first from Melrose boss John DL. Yeah, it was good. No, there were some, some really good bits there and some of the stuff that was converted from what we've been, been looking to do in the training field as well. And uh, Pleased with that. I think the second half got a wee bit disjointed with injuries there, but... Uh, really pleasing for the young guys as well, getting a, a good run out and a, and a good win. Jed fly half, Chris Laidlaw. I mean, we'll take great positives. Um, it's probably the weakest we've been all yeah. season, to be fair, missing um, Robert Hogg and Michael Weekly, two key players. But no, we'll take take huge positives, especially our attack. I mean, we were on the front foot a fair bit. Um, and I mean, we've got to keep going forward. We've got a few huge games coming up over the Christmas period and that's going to stand us in good stead, hopefully. It's a huge challenge for us out there today, physicality, tempo. Um, but I'm, I'm fairly proud of the boys. I mean, the effort was there and we'll keep moving forward. With Hoyk YM pulling out of the cup competition, that meant their derby with Hoyk was scrapped, leaving one other game only down at Philip Hoch between Silkirk and Peebles. And it really was a tough encounter, both sides defending well in a game that literally could have gone any way. In the end, Selkirk won 11-10, the holders just hanging on to win. Lewis McClellan scored Selkirk's only try, with Peebles' try going to Kieran Brown. Josh Welsh kicked two penalties for Selkirk, while Greg Rayburn landed a penalty and a conversion for Peebles. Selkirk wing Scott Hendry gave us his thoughts after the game. Peebles, uh, it's always a tough encounter, and uh, they make you work for your victories. And uh, they made us work today, <laughs> definitely. Uh, yeah, as you can tell by the scoreboard, it was uh, one one score in the second half, but it was uh, it was flat out the whole second half. So, as I say, we were uh, we were kind of camped in our 22 in the last couple of minutes, and uh, a penalty here or there, and that game could have went the other way. So, uh, as I say, Peebles, you, you always get a fight with them. Uh, it, it's a shame that they're coming off a of six six defeats because uh, the way they played today, they're. They're not far off a victory, I don't think. In other results, RBS East League 1, Duns 27, Langham 20. Hoyk Quinns 13, Dunbar 45. Portobello 52, Hoyt Lindeen 10. In the East League 2, Berwick 65, Trinity Ackies 0. Earlston 46, Lismore 0. And only one match in the RBS East League 3, St Boswell's 40, Liberton 12. St Boswell's remaining unbeaten there. Well, for a full list of next week's fixtures and to get the latest news, results, rankings, audio and video, go to bordersrugby.net.